y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about my 2017 favorites praise Jesus 2017 is done it was to put it mildly an interesting year <laughs> um but you know there's a lesson in everything, so we just gonna work on learning the lesson. Enough said about that. Now, last year when I did my favorites, I talked about every single favorite of the entire year, which was a lot. And we all know I talk a lot, hence this long introduction. Um, but I wanted to do kind of like the top 17 of 17. That seemed like a good idea. So that's kind of where I started with a couple honorable mentions. So there are a few more than 17 products in this video. Spoiler alert. Um, excuse my nails. They are a hot, holy tear. But it's not my fault though. It's not because I was being lazy. It's because I had chemo. Can we use chemo as excuse for ratchet nails? But truly, that is the reason. So anyway, if you see them, just ignore them. So um, in our kind of journey of shopping and finding good things and checking out all the trends, um, I'm definitely going to go through my favorites of the year. Some of them you have, well, I mean, probably all of them you have heard me talk about before um because they're amazing and they're things that I have used a hundred million times either in videos talked about them at favorites haul them what have you um so not I don't think any of this is going to be a grand surprise but I did want to just kind of round up everything that I've been loving in the previous year um so they're definitely not products that have exclusively launched in 2017 these are my most favorite products of 2017. So let's just go ahead and get started. I guess we'll just kind of start in the order maybe that I apply things sort of kind of. I may have to refer to my phone to kind of check my list. But the first thing I want to mention is an oldie but goodie. I talk about these all the time. These are the Scandinavia um, makeup sprays. It's the primer spray and the finishing spray. These are my all-time favorite. Let me move this over. These are my all-time favorite um, priming and finishing sprays. I literally only use one other facial spray and that's MAC Fix Plus, but for to prime my face and to finish my face, I only use these two. I've repurchased them 800 million times. I'm actually going to put them back where they belong right now. I've used them a million times. I've repurchased them a bunch of times. I usually try to wait for a sale like Scandinavia is good for doing a 25% off sale, something like that with free shipping, even maybe and some travel sprays like they're good for that. So, okay, so the other primer that I wanted to mention was the MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour extended eye base. This like the Scandinavia is the only eye primer that I use. Um, I have some other ones. I've used other ones in the past, but this one just works man like it works even if you're going to do a little bit of glitter it works if you just want to add you know do it all over your lid and then add a little extra in the center when you're ready for that lid color it's just good I mean I wouldn't call it a glitter glue per se but short of being a glitter glue it's pretty fantastic so I've repurchased this one I love it I don't think I will I mean, I just don't find a need to get anything else. <laughs> so we have foundation. And in that category, I want to mention my most, probably my most loved foundation and rediscovered love of a foundation. Um, because I did have some changes in my skin. For one, I had some discoloration happening <laughs> as a result of chemo. Um, but also, I... I don't know if I'm just getting, it's because I'm getting older or was due to the chemo, but my skin type has really kind of morphed into something different. I used to be a straight up combo girl. I am oily in the T-zone, normal everywhere else, but I've definitely morphed into a more normal overall skin type. And so with that being said, I have really been looking into and loving kind of a more glowy foundation. And so my fave of 2017, obviously, is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Foundation. I absolutely adore it. I'm showing it here in two colors, which is tragic, but my perfect shade currently is just not a shade that they offer. 
and I can't even tell you how mad I am about that, but whatever. Um, so I'm currently mixing shades 9 and 10 for my perfect shade. 9 is really neutral, 10 is super warm, and I'm right in the middle. So it's actually not the foundation I have on today, surprisingly, um, because I was trying something else in a Get Ready With Me previous to this. Um, but you guys have seen me in this, talk about this, wear this, whatever, forever. So uh, I don't think you've missed out on my thoughts on this lovely, glorious, and highly expensive foundation i'm so that's why i'm so mad that i have to mix it because it's so pricey but i absolutely love it um it's a beautiful beautiful foundation it wears well it photographs oh my god it photographs so well so absolutely adore that puppy so this is why we got more than 17 products because there's some honorable mentions. I did want to give an honorable mention to the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder Foundation. I wore this hard. Like I wore this a lot, especially to work. Like I would just put a little concealer under my eyes, spot conceal the spots I needed to, go over this with a powder brush, a big fluffy brush, and be out the door. Like this is the most amazing... I just love this this powder foundation. It is so good. It comes in such a good range of colors. Um, what I have here is Hazelnut 25, which I, I can't remember. I have several. <laughs> um, I can't remember which color I'm currently using. It's either 24 or 25. Um, so this one is 25, which is Hazelnut. Um, check out on Ulta. Like, keep an eye out if you're interested in a powder foundation. Because I got these. The reason I have so many is because they went on sale for 50% off at one point. And I bought a bunch of colors. And truth be told, when I do friends makeup, if they ask me to, especially if they're not... If they don't wear liquid foundation or they don't have a liquid foundation of their own to use, I always bring these with and I use these all the time. So I bought quite a few colors to put in my kit, which is really using the term loosely. Um, but I absolutely love this foundation. So I wanted to give it a quick shout out and let you guys know if you're interested in a powder one, that's the one to pick up. Now we have moved on to concealer. So this should be a no brainer. I'm, I'm gonna let you guess. Go ahead, guess. What's my favorite concealer? Mm hmm. I know y'all knew, because if you watch, you know, all I ever use in life mostly is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have it in the color Chestnut. Is it Chestnut? Yeah, in the color Chestnut. Um, I have to check because I also have Karma, which I used to use all the time. But good old NARS, good old NARS extended their shade range and added Chestnut to the collection. And it is my perfect concealer. Like, I heart it so much. Now, I know just about everybody and their mama are going to be talking about Shape Tape, which is fine. It is a fantastic concealer. My problem with Shape Tape is that the color selection that they have, the one that will match me closely um, it's just too yellow and I'm so bright underneath and I just don't love a bright under eye like that. Like I got a lot of cheek happening and I just feel like that super bright under eye isn't that attractive on me. Um, unless I have a super black smoky eye. That's the only time I do a really bright concealer. So in the meantime, I absolutely love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It just has such a beautiful finish, especially if you have maturing skin. This doesn't get dry and cakey underneath it. Oh, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. To that end, I believe this was also a 2017 release. Um, NARS just... They just keep keep banging out the hits. And so this is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Y'all. Okay, so I have it in the color Amande. It comes in this pot concealer. So here's the scoop. I bought this. I almost bought it in chestnut as well, but they didn't have it in stock. So I went ahead and got Amande because that's the color that I use to, you know, conceal any blemishes on my face. Uh, Variance leaving the 15th, the 23rd of January. Oh, okay, cool. Sorry. I was texting my friend from Australia. Hey, girl. Um, So... I bought Amande because that's the color I use to like spot conceal on my face should I need, you know, any extra coverage. Um, and it's a soft matte concealer. And so the um, young lady at the counter said that it's not meant for your under eye. It's meant for your face, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, cool. So I got Amande. Now, one day 
I'm not even particularly sure why um, I was gonna use this under my eye. Now I will say recently, because I've been off work, I'm not really going out a ton of places. Um, if I just wanna look a little bit more pulled together, um, I do one of two things. I go in with a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer, whatever, all over, and then do some concealer and brows. Or sometimes I just do brows and this under my eyes with a brush. Matter of fact, I use a Morphe, this is my favorite brush for this, the Morphe E21 Game Changer. Because it is my skin tone versus like a highlighting color, it looks so natural. Just You just need the tiniest little bit because a little goes a long way. It looks super natural under our eye. It sets beautifully. I put a little bit of powder underneath, the powder that I'm gonna talk about next. Um, put a little powder underneath to set it, buff it out around the edges, and suddenly you have this like, I just woke up flawless complexion. What? Who knew? Who knew that under your eye, this could be a beautiful thing? Because that girl specifically told me it was not meant for that. And she was probably giving me information that was given to her. And I'm not mad at her, but oh, honey, under your eye, this might change your life. The next product that has been a favorite of mine in 2017 in the powder category, um, the first one I want to mention, I have two. Um, the first one I want to mention is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Golden Orange Sheer Finish Loose Powder. Beautiful. What I use today, I absolutely love this powder. This powder has not done me wrong yet. It is a orangey kind of color, orangey, peachy, orangey color. So it does give you a little bit of brightening. It's better suited for my skin tone than like a yellow powder. So banana powders I don't love. So this is actually... Um, something that I prefer and it's so lovely. I have makeup Shayla to thank for this because she was raving about how bomb this powder was and she has not steered me wrong yet. This is a beautiful, beautiful setting powder. Um, if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. I picked mine up at Macy's. I feel like I couldn't find this at Sephora. Or maybe that was a different Bobbi Brown product that I couldn't find at Sephora. So, but either way, I got this from Macy's and I absolutely love it. Love it. The next powder I'm going to mention, honey, honey, she's a pricey one. She is a pricey one. But when I tell you it is the most gorgeous powder that I've ever seen in my entire life, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And look at this packaging. Number one, if you out in the world, oh, I can barely get it open, and you pull out your situation to do one of these, with this, come again, you look, you look rich. Look like you got that money. <laughs> I'm just playing. But seriously, this packaging is so beautiful. It's like this beautiful rose gold and it kind of gives you old school vibes. I mean, it is just absolutely stunning. Now, that's just the packaging. The powder on the inside is the... <sighs> It is the silkiest powder I've ever put my fingers on. It is so gorgeous. And when you apply it, it just gives you this beautiful, it definitely mattifies. So it's a good touch up powder. It mattifies the skin, but not a matte that makes you look dry and crusty or look super flat. It's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. It comes in three colors. It comes in, I, th I think it's light, medium, and dark maybe. Um, So this is the dark. Now, mind you, I looked at that and I was like, Auntie Charlotte, I don't think you know what dark is. Oh, please. I'm like, I don't think you know what dark is. But turns out this is, this. she knows what she's doing. Like, this is a beautiful, beautiful powder. I absolutely love it. You can set your under eyes with it. It's beautiful. You can touch up with it. It's beautiful. I had to go get mine out of my makeup bag because it stays in my makeup bag and my purse. Because when you're out in the world and you get to sweating and you're hot and you just want to touch up a little bit, That one does it. I mean, th this gets me excited. I love this powder. I will never be without it. I will repurchase it time and time again. So that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Finish Powder. And number three, dark. Go get you some. So that is that. So now that we've moved on from the powder situation, I think we can go ahead and talk about a few other things. So we have a bronzer. And again, if you know me, if you've watched 
three of my videos, you know that I am completely obsessed with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. Honestly, I've only worn two bronzers this year. Oh my God, is that true? I think that might be true. I've only worn two bronzers this whole year. This one and one other one. I went ahead and picked this one because honestly, this is the one I pulled for more. Um, I pulled for this one more, so I thought I would go ahead and just mention this because if you haven't tried it, really, what are you waiting for? Because it is just the most beautiful. Um, I use it as a bronzer. I throw it in my crease all the time. It's such a beautiful crease color. It's just, it's a beautiful powder. So, I mean, you really should just try it if you haven't already. So, absolutely love that guy. Um, if we want to talk about blush, again, MAC for the win. MAC Sweetest Cocoa, which may have actually been in my favorites last year. I can't really be sure because I didn't look back, but Max Sweetest Cocoa is just such a beautiful, beautiful blush. It's kind of bronzy, it's kind of mauve and it's just super, super pretty. It's so pretty, I absolutely love it. So Max Sweetest Cocoa, and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it, so you get a little bit of glow. It's just the perfect blush when you don't know what blush to wear for my skin complexion. Um, so if you don't know what to wear, like if you got a really smoky eye going on, but you you don't want to go without a little bit of blush, this is the perfect, perfect accompaniment. Yay. So how are we on time? We might be doing okay. So moving right along, I think I say that all the time. Maybe we should leave that in 2017, moving right along. <laughs> but the next item that I want to talk about is a highlighter. I only have one. And again, if y'all know me at all, if we are at all friends, you will know that Becca Bronzed Amber is the most delightful highlight in my entire collection. I absolutely adore it. Um, all the Becca highlights are super, super beautiful, super soft, look gorgeous on the skin. But this one in particular is my favorite because it gives you a highlight. It gives you a glow from within without looking like a highlight. Um, sometimes if I do certain go highlights, I have to make sure I blend it in, make sure I'm careful, kind of tap it back with a wet beauty blender. Like I got to work with it a little bit to ensure that A, I don't look like a disco ball, which sometimes is the look I'm going for not gonna lie but other times it's not quite where i'm headed um so i have to kind of work with it to make it work a little bit better with my skin tone but this one i can literally put it on blind with the fattest brush you ever seen and not look that crazy like i'm just saying it is perfection i absolutely love it i have patrick star to thank for this because he talked about it in one of his videos and i was like mm, i'm gonna go give that a try and sure enough it is steadfastly my favorite um, highlighter ever. I think I said blush, I meant highlight. So that is that. Now that we've gotten through some of that, let's throw in a little bit of brow, why don't me? Um, my favorite brow pencil, 2017, hands down. Benefit, precisely my brow. I absolutely adore it. It's such a good formula. I've turned a few people on to it. They all love it. Bam, this is it. Nothing to be said. My second brow product that I love that I want to give an honorable mention to is the Maybelline Brow Precise. Um, this is a fiber volumizer gel situation. So good. It gives your brows a lot of volume. The fibers are just really pretty in the brow. It gives you a little bit of color. It's a good, good, good product. Let's just go ahead and knock the eyeshadows out of the box. I will have to say, 2017... Really, probably one of my favorites from 2016, and that is the Melt Cosmetics stack. Um, I have the Rust stack and the Dark Matter stack here, and I am um, two seconds from purchasing. I'm trying to just hold out and be good, but I really want the She's in Party stack, which is the newest one. These are just good shadows. You get a fair amount of product so it's gonna you're gonna have to take some work to hit pan although I'm probably close to pan on blur blur is probably my favorite color out of all of them because it's a good shade to set your primer with on your lid it's a good shade to really blur out the edges of your shadow looks love it absolutely love it um the colors are very pigmented they 
blend like a dream. They stack together in this cute little stack, which is so cute, which is actually really convenient for traveling. Like you can put this on the side of your makeup bag and still have room for a bunch of other stuff. I mean, it's just, it's just good. The black, where is the black? The black is the, the black is black. There we go, dark matter is one of the blackest blacks that I've ever used in my entire life. It is just gorgeous. Um, this rust or antique color, nope, is it rust? Rubbish, rubbish is a beautiful mustardy brown color that re reminds me of MAC Uninterrupted, um, which was limited edition, no longer being made, whatever the case was, so you couldn't get your hands on it, but I think they're bringing it back. But in the meantime, this one has been serving me all sorts of life, so I absolutely love it. So eyeshadows, I have to say, Mel Cosmetics did it once again. Um, yeah, loving it. Sorry, it is what it is. We have some eyeliners to discuss. Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite eyeliner of 2017, hands down, goes to Marc Jacobs. And the highliners, they actually reformulated, I believe, the matte ones and came out with some, um, not glitter, but uh, sparkly, that's not the word, shimmer. Haha, -ha. they came out with some shimmer shades as well, but the matte ones are by far my absolute favorite. And this one in Out of the Blue is the color I have on today. They are long wearing, they last forever, they smudge beautifully. I mean, sorry, this lash is really trying to play me. Um, they just are just such good eyeliners. They are pricey, they are high-end eyeliners. I will admit, but I absolutely love them. Um, my two favorite ones is this out of the blue because I just love a blue eyeliner. <laughs> and this one is Earthquake and this is brown. This brown is everything. I have been looking for a perfect brown eyeliner that actually showed up on my eyes forever. Like literally forever. Because sometimes you'll get a brown and it's like, oh, it's brown. You put it on, it looks like you don't have anything on. This actually looks like a brown eyeliner in my waterline. So I absolutely adore this one. Um, Marc Jacobs for the Wham Man on the eyeliner. For mascara, we're just going to move into that. Um, MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Bomb. Best now, it really is the best bottom lash mascara hands down out there in the world, period. There's nothing to it. Um, it doesn't smudge. It doesn't flake. It doesn't run. It's a beautiful, beautiful mascara. I actually really enjoyed it on my top lashes as well to give a more natural kind of lashy look um, when you're just not trying to do the most with a mascara. This is really good. And again, it doesn't run. It doesn't flake. You can wear it all day. I've had it on and been crying and been fine. Like this is just an amazing mascara. So I actually just picked up a backup today. So there is that. Now we have moved on to what I believe, ladies and gentlemen, is the final category. Let me just check. Yes, coming, yes, yes. Oh Lord, y'all, I think we did it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have entered the last category of my 2017 favorites. My 17 for 17, plus a few. You know how it goes. So we are moving into the lip category. And so this is when it gets a little bit tricky because I had a couple of them. Now, overall, my favorite lip product of 2017 is definitely the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte lipsticks. I absolutely love them. I have one on today. This is Medusa. Um, they are just so comfortable. This, the thin runny formula that this offers is just so comfortable. It doesn't get dry and crusty. And when it does start to get to that, not even uncomfortable, but that, that moment in your liquid lipstick wear time where you're like, I need to put something on my lips. If you put like a quick balm over top, you're golden. It, it just keeps going. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Like, I absolutely love these. Um, I really want a red one. I think Cheerleader might be the red. I don't know why I don't own it already, but that is my next purchase because they're 
vampy colors are beautiful they're um they have such an array of nude colors such an array like this is almost like a mauvey purpley nude but it's gorgeous i have some other new ones i have an everyday kind of color i love these they are beautiful they smell wonderful they wear wonderfully i love so moving right along honorable mentions in the lip category because that was my overall favorite but some honorable mentions is Charlotte Tilbury, Auntie Charlotte, and it's a win it again with Pillow Talk. This is a beautiful, beautiful kind of mauve nude lipstick. It also, it's it's a little pinkier than what I have on right now, but it's close. Very good formula. It's a matte formula, but not drying. You will need to reapply it because it's not a long wearing, but it's a beautiful, beautiful formula. And who hates the packaging? I mean, you reapplying your lipstick in this, girl, stop. Okay, so the next product that I want to mention and my honorable mentions of the lip category is the Desi X Katie collection that was released with Dosa Colors. And here we go here. It is the over the top lip gloss and the more creamer please lipstick. This combination is my most favorite nude combo ever. Now, if you don't know, I love a good nude lip. Sometimes the nude the better. I've been known to rock a concealer type lip and I'm okay with that. Like that's what my heart sings. And if you're not comfortable, that's cool, but I am. So if you like that kind of really, you really like a nude lip, like that's what it comes down to. This is a beautiful color. More creamer please is definitely more of a peachy, a peachy beige, we'll call it but it is just so pretty. It's so pretty on and then topped with this lip gloss, baby bye. Now I will say, occasionally this lip gloss feels a little bit gritty, but I think that's cause I don't like really mix it up. But look how shiny and pretty that is. And I mean, that's just what your looks look, look like. They look like goodness in this gloss. So definitely want to mention those two because this is my perfect new combination. Um, I had to pick one up for my friend because she was like, where'd you get that? I was like, don't worry, girl, I got you. Um, and lastly, but definitely not least, this is a little bit of a sneaky cheek because it was released at the end of the year. So it definitely wasn't an overall 2017 favorite, but I absolutely adore it. This is the Patrick Wu and Mac, or the Patrick Star and Mac collection. Um, and this is the shade Patrick Wu. Now, again, if you know me, you know I love, love, love a good red. I absolutely adore a good red. So this one is just the prettiest. Oh, look how pretty this is. It pairs so well. Um, I have He Said, She Said lip liner, the Pro Longwear one, which I absolutely adore. It pairs really well with this red. Um, it, it, it lasts for a good amount of time, but I mean, it is a traditional lipstick, so you do have to reapply if you eat or what have you. It just kind of will have a long day. But it's such a gorgeous color, and I'm so happy for Patrick because this is really an amazing accomplishment. Like, he has a collaboration that is in Mac stores worldwide. That's insane. So congrats to him, but this is just a beautiful, beautiful accomplishment and a beautiful lipstick. So definitely want to give that a quick honorable mention. So ladies and gentlemen, oh my gosh, I can't believe it, but we have wrapped up our 2017, 17 for 17 with a few extra sprinkled in there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed kind of writing down these products and getting ready for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure my hair is together, get these edges. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed filming it. Um, it will be up soonish. <laughs> but as always thank you guys so much for an amazing year thank you for following thank you for sticking with me i know i've had some spotty uploading situations going on but you all have been so supportive and so encouraging in my journey just kind of getting through this treatment plan to um be done with it which is really great um 
I think as this video goes live, I'll just be finishing surgery. So that's super exciting as well because it'll be one more thing behind me. We finished surgery. We will have finished chemo. We finished chemo. We would have finished surgery once this video goes live. Um, so that's exciting. So I only have one more thing left in my treatment plan and I'm so excited to be done with that as well. But we will just take it one day at a time. And, and again, again, thank you so much for your prayers and your warm wishes and your virtual hugs. I appreciate all all of it. Um, it really doesn't go unnoticed if I don't reply to a comment immediately. It's not because I didn't read it or I'm thinking of you or I'm thankful for it. It's just things are a little crazy and I just need a second to get back to you. So definitely keep that in mind and definitely keep the comments coming because I love hearing from y'all. Um, let me know what favorites you've been loving this year. I've been loving y'all. <laughs> Y'all one of my favorites. Um, so let me know down below what you've been loving. Any products that you think I absolutely must try. Tell me. Don't tell me. Tell me. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, we're just going to move right on into the new year and make 2018 as freaking fabulous as we possibly can. That's definitely one of my goals. Um, I hope it's one of yours. As always, I love you so very much. Happy New Year and I'll see you in the next video.